Let, let's take a look at these setups this morning. Great volatility. All right, so last night we did a video on uh, the algo that's coming out to everybody. Make sure that um, you replay that video and uh, it shows you exactly how to trade the methodology that we are discussing right here now in this video. So Gerald recorded that. Feel free to play that and um, go over exactly what you're beginning in your hands on the uh, new algo that we're releasing. But in the room right now, let's take a look at what we got and how we trade these setups and how the S&P 500 is now in the trading room because of the volatility. Like I said before, because we have zero interest rates because of the virus that, that's going on and then because of obviously the, the crude oil the, uh, that's been happening with the supply issues, we're in an environment where the S&P 500 is creating some major volatility. Major, major volatility. So that being said, how can we get in this volatility and how can we get in some setups uh, to take advantage of the market situation that we're in? Well, the volatility should continue all year based upon the environment and we're leaving the S&P 500 in the trading room. It's going to be the S&P 500 and crude oil. There's so many nice setups that happen on the S&P. We had a run uh, of this morning of several, several trades in a row that worked out just fantastic. Here's how we do it. This is our trend chart, okay? This is a 9 sim Renko. This is our trend chart that we want to base our trades off of. This works on all markets, by the way, not just the S&P 500. It works on the NASDAQ futures, Dow minis, works on crude oil, gold, whatever you trade, any type of uh, make, uh, S&P 100, um, uh, you know, soybeans, corn, whatever you trade, Forex, whatever it is, stocks, ETFs, it works the same methodology, the same setup. So this is our trend chart. This is what I went over last night in a conference call, and you can see it worked out beautiful. If you just followed what I told you last night in the conference call, you're a very happy camper today. All right, so what we want to see is these are trend boxes. Trend boxes are red and they are green. Red, they're trying to mark the market down. Green, they're trying to mark the market up. I have a trend filter built into these trend boxes. I have a moving average on here. I have a small uh, moving average and a larger moving average. Okay. If the white's below the magenta, we're in a downtrend. If the white's above the magenta, then we're in an uptrend. So if I got the white below the magenta and I got red trend boxes, the trend is down. If I got the moving average above the magenta and I have green trend boxes, the trend is up. Below here are called full retracement, a full retracement indicator. What I want to see is I want to see if I'm in a downtrend where moving averages are down, which we were at this point in time, then I want to see full retracements on my indicators to let on my indicator below to let me know when the market's at a possible exhaustion point at the higher low point in the market. So here's the easiest way to spot trades on any time frame. I mean not any time frame, any market out there. I don't care what you look at. This works on all markets. I want to see boxes that close that have more than four candles that close inside of a trend box. That's called a consolidation box. So these are consolidation boxes. Consolidation box here, consolidation box here, consolidation box here. When I see a consolidation box and I'm in a downtrend, so I started my downtrend here. There's one, my moving average cross down. And I see a consolidation box of more than four candles that are closed. What I want to see then is I want to see speed in the market. I want to time this trade where I see speed in the market because what this trend box does, it leaves a footprint on the chart to tell us when we have speed coming in to look for a setup. All right. This is not a guessing game with this trend box. This is the best indicator that I've ever created since I've ever, uh, since we've had a trading room open. Because what it tells me is, it tells me the timing of the trade. This is a very leading, leading indicator. In fact, today in the trading room, I gave traders head up, heads up on a major sell-off that sold off 20 points in the S&P. And you had around a three to four minute heads up on the setup. So it's because I was watching this chart right here, waiting for speed bars to come in. So what I want to do is I want to see trend. If I'm shorting, I want to see trend down. The moving averages are crossed down. Then what I want to see is I want to see a speed bar come in. A speed bar is a one candle close or a two candle close inside of my trend box. 
this indicates I have a setup that's coming up on the S&P or whatever market you trade. It tells me, get ready. This is my leading indicator. Get ready. It's not a lagging indicator. Get ready right there. There's my speed bar. So my speed bar tells me I got a possible major trade coming up in the market. So what I can do now, since my 9 sims, my largest time frame, my 9 sims, my trend chart, 9 sim Renko, you don't have to trade off the 9 sim. You can check down to a 5 and a 3 sim Renko, which I'll show you in a second, for setups. So this told me from this point to this point, when the 9 first came out the speed box, that from here to here, I want to be shorting off my 3 and 5 sim Renko trades that set up. I want to be shorting from here to here. Then we get another full retracement. I get a full retracement back up. I don't care about this speed box here because I'm against trend. Against trend is for amateur traders. It just tells you that the market's really moving fast up. I want to take speed bars with trend direction only. But this full retracement at the bottom tells me I can look for a five Simrenko trade. Not a three, but a five because I'm at a full retracement on the nine. This should be my hot spot to look for a nice big move down in the market right there above 90 percent so once I get above 90 percent I want to look for my five sim to give me a sell once I get above 90 percent over here I want to look for a five sim to give me a sell once I hit 90 five sim to give me a sell five sim to give me a buy five sim to give me a buy five sim to give me a buy but the three sim rate on my smallest time frame I want to see speed bars come in on the nine first like here again Here's consolidation. Here's my first speed bar. Check for a three sim trade right away all the way down. We had 12 trades in a row that worked out. It was 12 for 12, and I'll show you in a second. Off of these two big moves down. Then the market reverses. Look, I get a consolidation bar down here, consolidation. There's my speed box. This tells me as a trader, get ready. I have a major heads up. I got a potential move to the upside. So what I want to do, I got a potential move to the upside. So now what I want to do is I'm going to look for the first retracement. I get a first retracement down here. This is a great 5 sim entry, great 5 sim entry, great 5 sim entry as we move up. This point between here, the speed box, and all the way to the high, I want to look for 3 sim trades. Once again, I cross back over. I get speed to the downside, and we have 3 sim Rinko trades all the way down. The algo, if you look here, it shows you what I'm talking about. Here's the setups that we're talking about to the downside and to the upside. So to the downside, these are setups that you should be participating in. If you noticed on my speed bar, I mean my algo was projecting only shorts. Short, 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 shorts. And then it changes gears over here when we get a speed bar to the upside on the 9 sim. And the algo goes back wall. So this is a back testing software we'll be getting out to you guys and gals. But this is what you want to be doing manually in the room. I'm showing you internally why this is producing trades that you're going to be getting um, um, with the system also. This is an automated system based upon your parameters that you put in. So that is something we'll be going over in the room. New software we're getting out to you. It doesn't cost anything. It's coming out to you. I mean, it doesn't. It's with the leasing program with these charts I'm showing you right now. Okay, it's just an added bonus to backtest the software when these setups should occur. Now, so we know the best thing to do to find trades is what? Let's just wait for speed bars to come in on the 9 sim Reiko with trend. Speed bar, speed bar, speed bar, speed bar after consolidation, speed bar after consolidation. Here's another consolidation box here. So we're looking for consolidation and then speed. Consolidation and speed. So this sets it up. On the S&P 500, we're leaving the S&P 500 because that sets it up. How can we enter trades in? Let's take a look at the nine sim, uh, three sim Renko. So we knew the nine sim set all these trades up, right? So the nine sim Renko had speed bars that came in. This is my smallest time frame that we use. This is a three sim Renko. I just told you to look at this chart for entries after what? After the 9 sim Rinko has a speed bar. A speed bar is categorized as a closed trend box that has less than two candles that close inside the trend box. You're allowed four, 
But the best ones that I like to see in the S&P 500 is one or two candles, period. That's it. So if I see a one or two candle close inside the S&P 500, then what I want to do is I want to look for full retracements on my bottom oscillator after speed bars come in. So let's blow this up. So let's take a look at it. This is a three Simrenko. So speed bar already came on my five Simrenko. Do I have speed bars that's showing on my three sim? There it is. Two candle close. Do you have a full retracement at the bottom down here? Yep. There's my full retracement at the bottom. I want a red reversal bar or a negative market delta. This was a doji at the time. It was negative market delta. There's my trade. Then we come down again. I get a full retracement down here above 90%. Remember, it's showing speed bars on the nine. There is my full retracement, red reversal bar, another trade. Get a full retracement below, red reversal bar or negative market delta right at the high again. It caught this one. Full retracement, caught this one. Keep going. You see my point. We're looking for speed bars to confirm the speed bars on the nine Simrenko. All these are set up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shorts in a row. Eight shorts in a row. Nine over here before it reversed to a speed bar. Then we got a speed bar to the upside to move this market back to the upside. So once we got a speed bar to the upside on the nine Simrenko, now we're changing gears. Now what I want to see is my three Simrenko show what? I want to see the three Simrenko. There's my consolidation bar. There's my speed, there's my full retracement, there's my doji or my positive market delta, there's my full retracement, another trade, speed bar is coming again, there's my full retracement, and then you move back up. Now we just had this set up. This is where I set traders up. I said, listen, I want to see, this is the, what I set traders up on this one. I said, listen, here's what I want to see, guys and gals. I want to see, we were right here in a consolidation box. And in the trading room, oops, right here, sorry. In the trading room right here, I said, in, in this, why this mark was ticking inside this box, tick, 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 more than four candles closed. I knew that more four candles closed, the trading box hasn't closed. I told all the traders in the room, look for a speed bar first on the 9 sim which is categorized by a two candle close or less and watch for a retracement trade on the three and five sim. Sure enough, there's my speed bar that came in. Look at my speed, it's one candle close, two candle close, two candle close. Check what happens off of my trade setup. This is a consolidation that's happening right now in the three sim at the same time. Right there was your 47 fill. It went down 20 points and I gave you a major heads up in the room, all the traders in the room before it even happened. How did I, how did I project that? It's all based upon the speed off the nine Simrenko, getting a speed bar off the large time frame, checking down to a smaller time frame, and this thing went southbound on the Greyhound. These are all full retracement trades, and it just got cranked, right? And that was all set up off the nine Simrenko. Nine Simrenko bar, got a speed bar right here. That put us into the three. Okay, so that's how you can do it. Now, take a look at the move we got up now. This is a live move we got up right now. This is a buy setup right here, right at the swing low, because you got a full retracement for that big move up. Why? Because we're doing what? Look at the speed. Check out the speed. Look at my speed bars. It's not hard, guys. Here's my consolidation bar again. There's my consolidation box. More than four candles that close inside the consolidation consolidation box. Do I have a less than two candle close inside of a trend box? Yes, I do. Here we go. Speed bars come in right here. There's my speed. What do I want to do? Now, if I get a full retracement here, getting close to 90%, I can trade off the five sim and I can trade off three sim longs. I can trade off the five sim. Do we have any five sim trades right here? Any trades? Off the five sim, let me take a look. There's my five sim trade. Just fired a trade just now to the upside as we speak because of the speed bar coming in right now. Speed bar, speed bar, speed bar, speed bar. Did we have a trade off the three sim? Sure did. Speed bars, and there you go to the upside right at the low. 
All right, so you know, you just got to make sure you look for speed. This is a key. This chart is a key, guys and gals. This chart is a key. This chart lets me know consolidation, speed bar, look for trades off the smaller time frame. Consolidation, speed bar, look for trades off your smaller time frame. Consolidation, speed bar, look for trades off your smaller time frame. Consolidation, speed bar, look for trades off of your time frame. Use your 9 sim trend chart for speed bars to come in and to take advantage of the market, okay? That's when we want to do it. We want to take advantage of these swings like this. We want to take advantage of these big swings like this, all right? We want to take advantage of these swings based upon these are speed bar retracements. Let the 9 set up the 5 and the 3. If I get a full retracement on the 9, the 5 should set up. If I get a speed bar on the nine, the three should set up. Okay? 